Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is March 7, 2018. Today we will see lots of planets and eclipses from photos obtained within the past two days from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams scattered across Alaska and Canada. All videos are in time-lapse mode with each frame equal to 10 minutes. Our first video was taken from the Southwest Facing Weather Cam located in Klawak, Alaska. At first glance, not much is happening, but when we put three frames together, it reveals a very pronounced striped planet rotating in the top left corner. Most of it is hidden in a transparency from the atmospheric chemicals. Something very strange happened early afternoon at King Cove, Alaska. The very next frame, only ten minutes later, shows an intense widespread brightness over the land, even over the background mountains. This could only be caused from something in the sky, such as a bright meteor, massive explosion, or who knows what. Our next video shows a setting sun, viewed from the west-facing weather cam in Minx Island, Alaska. Notice the detached bright ball at the one o'clock position of the sun. Then look at the water. The detached ball has its own reflection. It is a separate object from the sun. One of the concealment functions of the flashlight sun, also called a sun simulator, explained in a minute, is to completely engulf nearby celestial objects in glare, rendering them non-viewable. Thus, you see the sun stretching upward at the one o'clock position to engulf this object in glare. However, it still casts its own separate reflection upon the water. The next frame shows a very odd sun reflection upon the water as the flashlight sun's glare attempts to hide this celestial object. For those who might be new to this channel, the flashlight sun, also called a sun simulator, is a very intense light source installed between the earth and the sun much closer to the earth. During an eclipse, a planet passes in front of our real sun, but behind the flashlight sun, so that it's not obvious an eclipse is occurring. During most eclipses, a black dot is visible in the center of the flashlight sun, such as in this photo taken two days ago from the southwest facing weather cam in Myers Chuck, Alaska. The black dot is an actual piece of equipment built into the flashlight sun and it reflects upon water surfaces, proving it is not a camera anomaly. Interestingly, anyone can see this same dot by taking a picture of the sun. Then, look at the sun's lens flare in your photo. You will see this same dot covered with lights in the, in the center of the lens flare. These are from five photos of the sun I took with my old Samsung phone, a couple weeks ago. Then I cut out the center section of each lens flare and pasted it into this photo. The dot is not black because the flashlight sun was not in an eclipse mode. This dot only turns black during an eclipse or a near eclipse. The next two pictures show the setting sun in a cone shape as its glare attempts to conceal a nearby celestial object. Both cameras are in Kenai, Alaska, one facing northwest and the other southwest. These next several frames and videos are of the red planet seen daily, very easily, throughout Alaska and Canada. This contrast enhanced enlargement shows the many craters on this planet. Here is the same red planet, however, it is nearly transparent from the atmospheric chemicals. Wherever the jet chemtrail spraying is heavier, this planet appears more transparent. A tan-colored planet is eclipsing the sun in this photo. Notice the odd-shaped reflection of the eclipse concealment jet in the lower right corner of the screen. This concealment jet aligns itself with the flashlight sun's black dot and the eclipsing planet for optimum concealment. Notice how dark it gets suddenly. This southwest facing weather cam at an Alaskan military base in Elmendorf Richardson shows another concealment feature of the flashlight sun, 
a blurring mechanism. A large celestial body has been blurred on the lower right portion of the sky. As the flashlight sun gets closer, it lights up the object, which is still very blurry. Between the blurring mechanism and the transparency from the atmospheric chemicals, most of these planets remain hidden from view. The next couple short videos show something directly underneath the sun just before sunset. The flashlight sun takes on a very contorted shape as it attempts to completely engulf the celestial object in glare to make it non-viewable. This is why sunsets in the lower 48 states are usually heavily chemtrailed. In Ichigig, Alaska, the dome-shaped glow on the horizon is a dead giveaway that something is setting there. The flashlight sun grows to an enormous size to engulf the setting object in glare. Reflections of the concealment jet are visible to the left of the sun. And another similar show was viewed on the southwest facing camera in Haines, Alaska. Once again, the sun takes on a very unnatural shape. The southwest facing weather cam in Liamna, Alaska also shows this same dome shaped glow on the horizon underneath the sun. The flashlight sun once again becomes contorted to engulf this object in its glare. Reflections of the concealment jet are visible to the left of the sun, proving that either an eclipse or a near eclipse is occurring. Two planets are in this vid video from the west-facing weather cam in Chilkat, Alaska. First we see a tan-colored planet in the upper left corner of the screen. Next we see the pink planet emerge from the chemical clouds. The southwest facing weather cam in Chignik Lagoon, Alaska shows that same tan colored planet in the upper left corner of the screen, but it disappears as the flashlight sun overtakes it. Our final video shows a large, fast rotating planet full of stripes and stark markings just as it begins to fade into a transparency from the atmospheric chemicals the pink planet rolls into sight at the seven o'clock position of the first planet a contrast enhancement even shows the very faint image of a third planet which was originally hidden in the transparency from the atmospheric chemicals the objects we have just shown are all parts of an approaching celestial system Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following pages of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.